while you might be relaxing, there are plenty of us who are laboring on this Labor Day weekend. Archie Kelly has the story of one man who carries on a 75-year summertime tradition with good humor at all times. It's a familiar sound and a familiar sight in this suburban Washington neighborhood. Rick Hancock, the good humor man, doing what he has been doing for the past 21 years. Hi, kids. How you doing? And doing it the old-fashioned way. This good humor man with an engineering degree puts on the traditional uniform each morning and drives a good humor truck that's seen well over a half million miles. They say, that, where did you get that truck? Well, this is the same truck that came around when they were a kid. And it is a bit of a tradition that I'm carrying on. Hey, what do you want? There they are. The kids look forward, they hear his bell, and they come running out to get the ice cream treats. That's part of the tradition that hasn't changed at all over the years. Because it's like hot outside and it's good to have something to cool off and then go back and play. Ever since I've moved here, he's come and I always ask my parents for money, buy some ice cream for Hancock drives one of the few remaining good humor jump trucks. Called the jump truck because you have to jump out of the truck each time to serve your customer. And jumping out perhaps 200 That's times right. a day, Hancock says, is something that quickly removes the romanticism from the job. Sometimes the uh, fatigue is really enormous. I just, sometimes it becomes kind of painful just to keep myself going. All right, thanks a lot, Brian. But he does keep going in spite of the pain and fatigue. He keeps going, he says, simply because there are more customers to serve. So while much around us gives way to change, some things, it seems, do stay the same. In these neighborhoods, at least around Sterling, Virginia, Rick Hancock is making sure of that, making sure the bell still rings, making sure kids continue to get their ice cream on a hot summer day, and perhaps more importantly, making sure this piece of Americana remains alive to touch another generation of American youngsters. Archie Kelly for CNN, Sterling, Virginia. From NBC News, this is NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw. When I was growing up, hanging around the house all summer, this was often the highlight of a long day. And though some still come running at sunset, many kids who might otherwise be choosing between chocolate eclair and toasted almond are just too busy nowadays. The pace of life has quickened. In many neighborhoods with dads and moms at work and the kids away, there's no time left to just do nothing. Bob Kerr, NBC News, Sterling Park, Virginia. Washington has been a season of many faces, but despite our changing weather, one thing has remained the same. The Cherry Blossom Festival celebrates the spirit of friendship between our two countries that is represented by these trees. Live from downtown D.C., it's the 1990 National Cherry Blossom Parade. The floats and flowers, the fun and excitement. Join Open House's Allison LaPlaca and Philip Charles McKenzie, along with WTPG's Angela Robinson and Sue Palka, for the most colorful event of the year. It's the 1990 Cherry Blossom Parade. Good afternoon and welcome, everybody. I'm Angela Robinson from WTTG Fox Television News right here in Washington, D.C., and I'm very pleased to introduce my co-host for the 44th Annual National Cherry Blossom Festival Parade. We want to welcome Ms. Allison LaPlaca and Mr. Philip Charles McKenzie, otherwise known as real estate agents Linda Phillips and Ted Nichols in the Fox Television series Open House. Welcome to D.C. Thank you, Angela. Great to be here. Did you bring the snow from L.A.? No, we did not. No, okay. we, we just discovered that uh, this morning. <laughs> We'd like to welcome our Washington viewers along with all those watching us on Fox Station, uh, KTTV in Los Angeles, WFLD in Chicago, and KDAF in Dallas. 
This is the largest spectator event in Washington, and we are pleased to share it with you. A uh, volunteer committee from the downtown JCs of the District of Columbia, an organization of business professionals, spent a year putting this parade together. And they do an outstanding job. The Cherry Blossom Parade celebrates the bond of international friendship between the United States and Japan that is symbolized by the Japanese cherry trees. And Where they were here. Blossoms, <laughs> yes, they were here. <laughs> Today you'll see 14 high school bands that have come here from all across the United States, and every state and American territory is represented by a cherry blossom princess. Of course, there'll be floats and balloons, many international groups and celebrities. Oh, yes, indeed. We've got a whole lot. Let's go down to the parade route along Constitution Avenue. WTTG reporter and my colleague, Sue Palka. 1980, uh, this is a 1967 good humor truck coming our way. The ice cream truck was rebuilt and restored to its 1967 showroom condition. The Good Humor Company started in the Washington, D.C. area in 1927. They are now approximately 150 trucks serving the metropolitan area. The best thing to hear after dinner. Amen. With the sound of the Good Humor <laughs> Man coming around, right? That's right. The uh, chocolate-covered vanilla ice cream on the stick that we know as a Good Humor was invented by a candy maker named Harry Burt. He was experimenting with trying to cover his ice cream with his chocolate candy, okay? That's how it all started. But it was too messy to hold and eat. So he came up with the idea of putting his creation on a lollipop stick. The first Good Humors were called chocolate suckers. The name Good Humor evolved from the idea that something that tastes good puts you in a good humor. This traditional ice cream treat is also known as a brown mule, a chocolate pop and lightning gym in other parts of the country. And all I can tell you, it was the fastest way for me to say, hey, Mom, I'm finished my dinner. Can I go outside now? <laughs> yeah, because anyway, you, you just heard it. the bell of the good humor, man. That's really? why. <laughs> Channel 5's Jeff Lawson was down there today. He's in tonight for Sue. But, Jeff, you couldn't have picked a better day for it. And which was your favorite energy? Well, all of them were funny, uh, James, but I think my personal favorite from a uh, selfish standpoint was probably the Good Humor uh, entry, which handed out free ice cream that obviously won the uh, Sucking Up to the Judges Award, as it was called, and aptly so, I think. Pretty good stuff down there today. A lot of fun and a great day for it. Plus ça change, plus c'est la même chose. The more things change, the more they remain the same, the saying goes.